Friends and family will pay their final respects to our friend Bob Massey tomorrow. The Fox 5 legal analyst and Fox News contributor died last week at the age of 67 after a long battle with cancer. Bob leaves, leaves behind his wife Lynn, two sons, a daughter, and six grandchildren, grandbabies as he'd call them. He also leaves a wonderful legacy of compassion, friendship, and laughter. If you ever meet someone as kind and gracious as Bob Massey, count yourself lucky, and everyone here in the Fox 5 newsroom does. You could hear him come in, he always said hi to everyone, he would make it to every desk, and I was on the end, and he would make sure he said hi to everyone, asked about, you know, their family, what, how's everyone doing. He's just so welcoming, and it's like you've known him for a long time, and all he wants to do is get to know you. Bob has been with Fox 5 since the beginning, sharing his passion for the law and explaining it to the rest of us in a way we could understand. Not an easy task. Most of the time, People walk away from any kind of lawsuit or anything like this. You know what they did? It was an accident. It's something that happened. But assuming that to be true, they're just making it more. The acrimony grows and the resentment grows. And as a result, what happens is exactly what we're looking at now. Bob grew up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He got his undergraduate degree at Mount St. Mary's University in Maryland and his law degree at St. Mary's University School of Law in Texas. Bob moved to Las Vegas in the 70s and started his own successful law firm. But beyond the impressive biography was a man who genuinely cared about people. Bob helped me so much after my fiance died. Um, he was one of the first ones to call me. Um, and he kept in touch with me and he constantly wanted to know how I was. It meant the world to me. I never asked him. He just did it because he just wanted to help in some way. And sometimes in stuff like this, you don't know how to help somebody, but you at least try. He's just a special man. Shout out, we can't say enough about these people in our, the Metro and the right, fr first responders. First, and the people that were there that were off duty, how they came right right there to say how many God only knows how many lives. Bob's compassion and deep knowledge of Las Vegas showed in the hours after the 1 October shooting. Look at the blood today. The lines were so long uh, that they had to go blocks online. Blocks long. I mean, you know, I mean, that's right. just all this other stuff we've been listening about for the last couple of weeks, how divided we are. This is what this is really what we are. You know, it didn't matter who we are, it didn't matter what color you were, it didn't matter anything. They were there to survive and help each other. When Bob talked to us about 1 October and everything that happened in our community after, he was really talking about what he did day in and day out. He talked about um, all the community coming together, but Bob didn't just talk about it. He lived it every day, not even just after 1 October. I'm Bob Massey. For 32 years, I've been practicing law and living in Las Vegas. The property man, Bob Massey. Outside Las Vegas, Bob was known to a national audience as the property man on Fox News, where he guided many people through the morass of the housing market implosion, and he also covered big trials like Michael Jackson and O.J. Simpson. Don't be afraid to ask questions and understand if something is done wrong, you do have rights in America. What many of us did not know was Bob was in a long battle with cancer. His last appearance on the evening news was back in September. His humor on full display and no signs of any health crisis. Yelp. Don't you love it? <laughs> I always said that anybody came up with that word Yelp. Yelp. We know exactly what that means. I think Fox 5 News at 10 has a Yelp entry. I think so. Yeah. Well, we, have a, really? we, yeah. have, we have a Good rant, channel. that's for sure. <laughs> we will miss you, Bob. We'll miss your generosity and great humor. There won't be another one like you.